So guys, on this one, it's going to be another general roundup video featuring some smaller business pieces that I haven't yet covered on the channel. Nothing too exciting in fairness, but still potentially an interesting thing or two. So let's see what we've got, and let's get straight into today's video. Okay, so if you didn't see it already, this week's news kicked off with the news that P. Diddy would be handpicking the 2K17 soundtrack. If you did miss the news on Monday, you can now see the full track listed on the screen. Now for me, I'm not entirely sure if this is a good or bad soundtrack, as in fairness, I'm not too familiar with most of these songs. But still, one thing to keep in mind is that if the game is like 15 and 16, we should in theory have the jukebox feature, which will allow us to completely customise the soundtrack. So any songs you don't like, in theory, can be removed and be replaced with the rest of the theme songs that are of course featured on the game. Moving on, on Tuesday we then had another 22 roster reveals to add to the 2K17 roster, and with all reveals together we currently have 46 names confirmed. So just to very quickly recap and see all the reveals together in one place, let's see who we've got. So via the IGM reveals we have Aiden English, Alicia Fox, Andre the Giant, Baron Corbin, Big E, Billy Gunn, Booker T, Braun Strowman, Bret Hart, Brian Pillman, Brie Bella, British Bulldog, Cesaro, Charlotte, Chris Jericho, Daniel Bryan, Diego, Edge, Eric Rowan, Fernando, Finn Balor, Heath Slater, Hideo Itami, Jake Roberts, Jey Uso, Jimmy Uso, Jim Neidhart, Kalisto, Connor, Larry Zabisco, Nikki Bella, Randy Orton, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, R Truth, Simon Gotch, Sin Cara, The Rock, Triple H, Tyson Kidd, The Ultimate Warrior, and Victor. Then we also have Sasha Banks and John Cena, who were both officially revealed via 2K as two of the first three superstars confirmed for the roster. We then have all three McMahons confirmed, so Shane, Stephanie, and Vince confirmed by Stephanie herself, as well as officially by 2K. Not to mention, of course, the 2K17 cover star, the Beast Incarnate himself, Brock Lesnar. It's also worth keeping in mind there is also Bill Goldberg as pre-ordered DLC, and then Nakamura, Nia Jax, and Apollo Crews on top as part of the NXT edition. So in total, including DLC, we currently have a total of 51. Now in terms of roster reveals, still early days, but I would say an okay start so far. Plenty of big names confirmed, some legends, and of course a few new stars as well. So in fairness, not too bad so far, although not necessarily many big surprises yet, but I would say the best is still to come, so stay tuned for future roster confirmations. Speaking of the roster, a few in the community took note that during the first week of reveals, IGN actually listed each superstar's render with a number, which has given us an idea of how big the roster is going to be. Now IGN actually realised this for week number 2, so they fixed it, but with week 1 in mind, it looks like 2K17 will feature a roster of at least 124 superstars at minimum. Now, will this year's roster be bigger than last year's, which of course was the biggest roster ever? Well, that remains to be seen, but whether it does or it doesn't, it's fair to say this year's roster is going to be pretty big either way. Again, moving on, a little note now on Brock Lesnar. So, if you missed it last month on the WWE Network on a show called This Week in WWE, it featured Brock Lesnar, the cover star, being scanned for 2K17. Now, that information is maybe useless at this point considering we've now seen Lesnar's entrance and character model, but still information nonetheless, so just wanted to share it. And at the very least, it is good news to see that unlike in 2K16, Brock Lesnar has been scanned for 2K17. Sticking with Brock Lesnar, a surprise inclusion as part of the Week 2 roster reveals was Billy Gunn, with many wondering why exactly Billy Gunn is on the 2K17 roster, especially given it was just last year that he was fired from the company. While one theory for Gunn's inclusion is that it's due to the predicted Brock Lesnar 2K Showcase mode, because if we go back to the Triple H Lesnar feud which took place in 2013, Billy Gunn was in fact involved in some of the build up to one of their matches, and even received an F5 by Lesnar on an episode of Monday Night Raw. Now if that is the case, and Gunn's inclusion is down to that moment, not only is this good news for Billy Gunn fans obviously, but good news for New Age Outlaws fans generally, because as part of that same segment, not only did Billy Gunn receive an F5, but so did the Road Dog. So if that is the case, and that has a reason for Gunn's inclusion, maybe this year is the year we're going to see Road Dog added back to the roster, with his last appearance taking place in WWE 13. Finally, just to clear up some confusion on the release date, and people concerned the game has got delayed, because as some of you guys might have noticed, as part of IGN's coverage and the recent Finn Balor entrance, that video featured a release date which was later than currently scheduled. 
Well, just to clear that up and to save any confusion, well, that is not the case. And as confirmed by 2K's Brian Vaughan on the official 2K forums, he confirmed the game is not delayed and the release date featured in that video was just incorrect and basically a placeholder. So as it stands, 2K17 is not delayed and 2K17 still releases on the 11th of October in the States and October the 14th in Europe. So guys, that is it for this one. Again, just some smaller stuff today that I wanted to round up. But I hope you guys have enjoyed the video anyway. And if you have a like rating, it would of course be awesome to see. As always, stay tuned to the channel for plenty more 2K17 content coming very, very soon. And until next time, this has been 101. And I will see you all on the next one.